Hi there, Steve Kaufman. Um, Romanian. Fluency in two months? I don't think so. Remember I had a program back a while ago which I called Fluency in Five Days where I spent a whole year working on Czech. Um, first seven, eight months or so basically listening and reading, working at Link. And then I started stepping up my online discussions with Czech tutors. And then I eventually went to Prague and I spent five days there, four days, speaking seven, eight hours a day. And at the end of which uh, I felt I had made major progress. I, I guess I really can't say I'm fluent in Czech, but uh, certainly I understand the radio. I've learned a lot about Czech history. And when I was in Prague, I was carrying on conversations and, and having a great time. So that the whole idea was, and I picked up on something that Dr. Huliganov, a wonderful multilingual person who uh, imitates Russian accents and stuff, and who's popular here on YouTube, and he had said that your passive vocabulary will be activated within three days. So I gave myself an extra two days. But still, I can't say that I achieved fluency not in five days and not really even within that whole period. But I can read Czech books, I can understand Czech radio, and I can get along in Czech. So I'm happy and I will continue to work on my Czech. But Romanian now, I guess I started around the 10th, 15th, I'm not sure when, of uh, May, May? No, April. Let me think now. Yeah, of April. And um, so I've had about six weeks and it'll be close to two or eight weeks by the time I leave Romania. So uh, six weeks of prep, six or seven weeks of prep. Uh, and of course it's getting closer because um, next week, next Monday, I arrive in Vienna. Uh, there's a, a, and I'm going to Vienna because a little bit of the background, uh, we deal with a, a company that's based in Vienna called Schweikhofer, which is a, a, a lumber company, a very successful company, headed up by a very dynamic um, individual, one of the most effective um, executives and business people in the lumber business, software lumber business, as far as I'm concerned. And he has built sawmills in Romania, and we are buying lumber from uh, these sawmills for shipment into the U.S. East Coast. And uh, Mr. Schweikhofer every year has a special prize for design with wood, and I've been invited every year to go and take part in these ceremonies, and I've never done so. Like, I've known Mr. Schweikhofer for quite a few years, and so I decided this year, since we're dealing with him and the mills in Romania, that I would go to Vienna. And if I go to Vienna, then I have to visit the sawmills in Romania. And if I'm going to visit the sawmills in Romania, then I was determined that I would learn some Romanian. And it coincided with about the time that we introduced Romanian at Link. So for the last six weeks or so, as many of you know, um, I've been working on my Romanian. Before, so, and of course the test will be when I arrive in Romania on the evening of the 5th of June. And I'll have the 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th, departing on the 10th, returning here on the 10th. Uh, so how much will I be able to do in Romanian? We will see. I promise to do a video in Romania talking with some Romanians. But before getting into that, um, I want to talk a bit about how exciting it is to learn languages on the internet. All right? That's a theme that I get back to all the time. But we introduced Romanian at Link. We had no content. A uh, couple of our members gave us a small amount of content. There was no content. So I had to go out and create some. Uh, so I was able to contact through Elance, which is a very useful site on the internet, E capital L A N C E, where you can contact freelance people for outsourcing. And so I have now a total of three tutors via Elance um, uh, for Romanian. Uh, I was able to find people, as I explained before, to translate these 150 basic sentences, to translate them and record them. And I put, I loaded this up as content into Link. So another 30, 40 people have been able to use this in Link and it's all available free of charge. I don't mind, I do it for myself and yet other people are able to benefit. Um, then I had uh, people do pod, at least transcripts of the Radio Romania podcast. And I've tried a number of different 
transcribers, and I've got one now that's extremely good and quite reasonable. Uh, she volunteered that there was uh, like a number of resources, a grammar book, and she volunteered this one site called Vorbim or Vorbij Romaneste. And it's put out by the uh, Institutul Intercultural Timoshwara, Timishwara. And there, there's like 22 lessons, audio and text. So I initially imported those for my own use into Link. And then I approached my, this person who had told me about it and I asked her, I said, could you approach uh, the Instituto uh, Intercultural Timishwara Ask them if we could share this amongst other learners at Link. It's available for free download. And they came back immediately and said yes, which is wonderful because all the time that I've approached, you know, Echa Moskvi for Russian or uh, Chesky Rosklas for Czech for permission to share their material at our website, they don't even answer. They don't even answer. So here we got an answer right away. So I loaded up 22 lessons today of Romanian audio and text using the Link system. So. However many people want to access that through Link are welcome to use it. Uh, so, I mean, it's just amazing how all this stuff works. Also, on that Romaneste, uh, Vorbich, Vorbich Romaneste uh, website, uh, there is a PDF grammar book, a very good one, with lots of examples. So, I uh, emailed the PDF grammar book to my um, Kindle account, uh, on my iPad. So now when I travel and also on my iPhone. So now, of course, when I travel, I'll have my iPhone and I'll have my iPad and I have all of my recent lessons uh, on here uh, on my iPad uh, that I've downloaded onto the iPad because I mean anything that I have on link on the computer is now available to me on the iPad. Now, granted, right now I have to create the links on the computer because it's much more convenient, but I just create them very, very quickly and then I do the reading and reviewing and listening on my iPad. And I've just spent the last 20 minutes organizing all these lessons that I have, uh, Radio Romania podcasts with transcripts, um, you know, the lessons from uh, this uh, Vorbici Romaneste. And um, so I'll have those available to review on the plane, as well as the Intui Noapte de Dragoste, can't remember the name of it all, this novel that uh, another one of my tutors sent me, this novel. It's quite difficult for me, but I've got the audio book and I've got the text. So I can read the, um, read the text in PDF format, struggle. I can also listen to the audiobook because I've got that sitting on my on my iPhone and also on my uh, Nano. Now you can say that that's a lot of investment in Nano, iPhone, iPad, uh, plus the money that I paid for transcribing and other services and stuff. But compared to going to a class, it's peanuts. Uh, because if you go to a class five days a week, three hours a day, whatever, you're looking at a thousand dollars every month. And, and yet those are things that are, those are expenses that are just gone. Whereas here, a lot of what I'm doing, I'm able to share with other people, uh, via link. People can just download it. Uh, I'm able to take it with me, review it wherever I am on the go in the plane while waiting for a plane at the airport. So, uh, yeah, it's just to say that it's, and of course, I, I won't be fluent in Romanian in this short period of time, but I have learned so much about Romania, about Romanian history, about, you know, history of 2,000 years ago, 500 years ago, uh, different groups, Hungarians, Germans uh, in Transylvania, how, uh, you know, the struggle for Bessarabia, uh, Moldova, uh, you know, between the wars, the fascists and the king and all, stuff like that. So when uh, I'm in Romania, all the stuff that I've been learning about in Romanian is just going to make my stay there so much more pleasant. Plus, I'll be able to communicate at some level. How well I'll be able to communicate, we will have to see. And I promise a video uh, from Romania. And that will be starting on the 6th or 7th of June. That's when I'll be starting on my little holiday. 
After visiting the sawmills, I'll be driving through Transylvania uh, one night in Brasov, two nights in Sibiu, and while I'm in Sibiu, there is an international theater festival there, and apparently there's theater in the streets and in the public squares and so forth and so on, so I'll be able to wander around and uh, try out my Romanian. So, uh, just to update you on my brief Romanian escapade, which uh, once it's over, I have to beetle back to my Korean because I don't want to, uh, you know, backslide too badly in my Korean. So, thanks for listening. Bye for now.